Russian army attacked the British 50-ton howitzer six times in Ukraine, but could not do anything. Five crews of a Ukrainian AS-90 self-propelled howitzer may turn out to be the luckiest artillery crew members in Russia's war with Ukraine. As Forbes writes, somewhere on the front line, the tracked AS-90 was spotted by a Russian drone and subjected to merciless shelling. The Russians attacked the 50-ton vehicle at least six times in a short period, damaging but not destroying it. That the crew may have survived is partly a matter of chance, but it also highlights the importance of artillery fortifications in warfare, where the side with the strong howitzers usually wins the battle. The Russians have released a drone video showing an attack on a British-made AC-90. After spotting a 1990s-era AC-90 in its tree cover, believed to be within 20 kilometers of the front line, the Russians attacked. They first fired artillery at it. When the shells failed to make a direct hit, they launched two explosive first-person drones at the howitzer. When the smoke and dust cleared, the AC-90 was virtually untouched. More artillery rained down, and then a Lancet attack drone approached. After six successive attacks, the AS-90 was apparently badly damaged but it did not explode or catch fire, meaning its crew had the opportunity to escape on foot. The intensity of the artillery battle has forced gunners on both sides to seek tactics that will give them the best chance of survival. If there is a consensus on artillery, as the war enters its third year, it is that drones pose the biggest threat and hiding from drones is a top priority, the article says. It has now become standard practice for a Russian or Ukrainian howitzer crew to hide the gun into the woods, cover it with branches, camouflage netting and anti-drone screens and emerge from cover far enough and long enough to fire a few shots before racing back under cover. If gunners move their weapons to a new firing position, they do so carefully and only when they are reasonably sure that enemy drones are not watching. An alternative to this established approach to artillery warfare is a more mobile approach known as shoot and run, where a crew drives to a new firing position, fires a few rounds and then immediately races to a new position, potentially several kilometers away. The theory behind shoot and run is that constant movement can prevent an enemy from identifying the source of incoming projectiles and firing back. Shoot and run might have worked before the current era of near constant drone surveillance. But now, with all modern armies watching the entire battlefield nearly 24-7, it's almost suicidal to go on the move, especially during daylight hours. Over the past 29 months, the Russians and Ukrainians have adopted a new strategies and used advanced technologies in an attempt to gain a decisive advantage in the ongoing war, Forbes reports. As the war continues to evolve, one particular aspect remains constant. Both sides rely heavily on artillery. Russia's Black Sea resort city Sochi has been hit by heavy floods, thunderstorms and strong winds, local media reported on Tuesday. Weather forecasters predict landslides and a strong rise in water levels in rivers, while Primorskia embankment is partially flooded. Emergency services have issued a warning of the possibility of tornadoes. Local residents and tourists visiting the resort city have been advised to refrain from relaxing near the water, not to leave their cars under trees, billboards or other structures, and to refrain from going to the mountains. The strongest storm is observed in the Lazarevsky district where trees are being knocked down and it is impossible to get to the center because of the flooded streets. It has also been raining heavily in Adler Resort on the Black Sea, with a disaster expected there at night. According to meteorologists, the disaster will continue tomorrow as well. Heavy rains, thunderstorms and hail, and a sharp rise in river levels are expected in Sochi as well as serious area in Krasnodar region. Experts predict mud flows in mountains. All resort services are working in enhanced mode.